lovely day for a painting. Sometimes you need to go into the middle of nowhere if you want to find a great spot for a painting. Today it is time for a collaboration with someone special. Some of you might know him, especially those ones from Slovakia, but also older subscribers of this channel, because he already appeared in one of my videos. Actually, more of my videos. I've seen a lot of abandoned places in my life, but this is a whole new level. As you can see based on the title, today I'm painting with the oldest active graffiti writer in the country. <laughs> I asked him if I can use this title and he agreed. And I can't even imagine a better place for such a painting as abandoned hospital for old people. Geriatria. <laughs> So this is him, his name is Smart and he's the oldest active graffiti writer in the country. But not just that, he's also a member of one of the most successful rap bands in Slovakia as well. And yeah, today we are painting together in a, one of the greatest spots for graffiti that you can even imagine. <laughs> Shittiest shit. Exploring of places like this might be. In the previous video I was complaining about my preparation for the paintings, so this time I prepared myself very well. In the computer I basically prepared every single detail that I want to put to the wall and I thought that this is gonna help me to be self-confident during the whole length of painting, which didn't really happen. In the beginning I was a little bit struggling with catching the right proportions on the wall, 
I started a little bit too big and I didn't want to repair it because we didn't have a background color. So I just kept going and I, yeah, I tried to make it nice. But he's damn fast. I know Joseph Boyle. Let me see that one bit speed on the paint in a building like this don't ever place your tags in the middle of great big walls because of you we have a problems right now I consider myself as a fast rider, but look, no outline at all and... <laughs> After the feeling of doubt in the beginning, after the outline I started to 
love the piece, I was really excited about it, which changed when I've put the 3D over there. In a few moments from loving my piece, I started to hate it and <laughs> that was quite hard to accept. I had a problem that the left side of the piece was not in balance with the right side, so I created these weird things on the top to fix that, it didn't really work. It wasn't a weird painting. First of all, I didn't like it, then I loved the way how it looks, then I hate it, and at the end after trying so many things, although I had everything prepared, I felt kind of numb. It was not bad, but I didn't really have a feeling of satisfaction, especially when I was looking at Smart's piece, which was just impressive. If you want to see more videos like this, thumb up would be awesome as always. And yeah, this is...